The Bible says that we should reject anything, any knowledge that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Okay, that is what 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 teaches us. That casting down imagination, that you reject anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Look, you may be a lawyer, you may be a PhD holder, a doctor of philosophy, doctor of books. That is a certain knowledge you have. But there is the knowledge of God. You may be ignorant of the knowledge of God. So don't think that because you are a PhD holder, you know it all. You don't know it all. The knowledge of God is that from the beginning, he created a male. And if you, your father, had married a father, would he have born you? Come and sit on radio, TV, you are talking by heart. You are a PhD. PhD what? What are you talking about? From life's first cry till final breath. The knowledge of God. My day. Look. Hey, no power. All right. So we are continuing the prayer on our Zoom this evening, 4 p.m. Yesterday was very awesome. And you know, because of my voice is very strong. So oh. yesterday, Prophet Isaac led us in prayer awesome time. Today he's doing it. Tomorrow to his own. Thank you so much this morning. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you want to receive him now, okay? You you want to say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for dying for me. And I declare that I'm born again. And, I, and, I'm, I'm, and, and I'm, 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 I'm actually encouraging all of you, okay, if you know those who are contesting for uh, presidential primaries and presidential elections. Come on. Okay, uh, let them, let them, those of you who know them, tell them to make a definite statement. They should make a definite statement. Okay, they should make it. Make a definite statement. Our development as a nation is not based upon any country. No country will come and develop our country. Mm. Our development is based on ourselves. There is no now. Will America come and develop Ghana for us? Who told you? Mm. We develop our own. We develop by ourselves. Make a definite statement. In life. No fear. It's too early in the morning. I can't describe a young man, okay, who who approached me. I mean, he he was practicing gay. It's too early. I can't describe the young man, the suffering. I had to accompany the young man to a personal doctor I know to help the young man. I can't describe it. And then you are at Jesus Christ. A, a good morning. I'm out of here. The Lord bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. In the power. Come on, give the Lord some worship in this place. I give the Lord praise in this place. We magnify you, Lord. We thank you so much, oh God, for the opportunity to come into your presence, oh God, and sing songs unto you. We thank you for Zion, oh God. We thank you that you reign on Zion, oh God. And you are here tonight. We give you all glory, oh God. Come on, somebody, lift up your voice, church. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. We magnify you. Jehovah. Jehovah. Wherever you are.
Can I have somebody here? You are the living God.
this thing, catch this thing, catch this thing, catch this thing. You see, it is God who calls for the things that are not as if they are. We are not here just to thank God for what he has done for us. We are here to praise and worship him for what he's about to do. The greatest level of the display of our faith it's not in knowing what God is doing, but knowing what God can do. See, in the next few minutes when we are here, don't take this time for, for, for granted. See the way I'm singing it. Listen. If you were a on your me, send me to Pona. If you were a Yamia, eh, Samaya, if you were a Samana, was
presence of the Lord in this place. The Lord has been here from beginning till now. Come on, just lift up your heart. I don't know what your challenges are. This morning, when pastor was talking, he said that the Lord is going to start his miracle working power here tonight. I sense a move of the Lord strongly in this place. You don't want to joke. If you're a child, just don't joke with this time. Just lift up your hand to the heavens. I don't know. I don't know what your personal issues are. Some of the things you need the Lord to move on your behalf. Right here on Mount Zion, you want to lift up your hand. Talk to the Lord yourself. The Holy Spirit will hear you. Talk to the Lord yourself. In the next two minutes, talk to the Lord. Yes, I've seen him work. Bibia ranso no ye Ono na okasa Adigi na ratedi Bibia so oriti
25 minutes after 4 on Joy 99.7 A great good morning God bless you and welcome To Joy Time and His Presence um, On a Tuesday morning Call it what it is It's a blessed Tuesday morning Favorite Tuesday morning Uplifting Tuesday morning Glorifying Tuesday morning Awesome Tuesday morning Give it a name and it shall be so in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Glory, good morning, glory Tuesday morning Awesome, awesome Tuesday Blessed Tuesday Glory be to the name of the Lord who daily loads us with benefits. Don't you forget that there is always a daily load of benefits. Yesterday is gone and that day is here. And I see the Lord God Almighty perform His wonders in your life for something new. Perform His wonders in your life for something new. Who is here to bless the name of the Lord with me? Let's say a very great God bless you to PKF, Pastor Kojo from Paul. Somehow I thought I was going to meet him today, but I hope I'm still here, rapture or something. 
Apostle, I appreciate you. May the Lord bless you bigly. Let's talk some other time this week. Okay, so show me your thumb, your name and your thumb. And let me know that you are standing together with me this morning to bless the name of the Lord. Yes, I've seen Jane, I've seen Rita, Brunette. Bekia Yuku, I've seen Grandma Irene, Victoria. Hey! Hey, Lydia! Chai! Oh, now I'm losing count. Marjorie, Albert, Kimberly, Anastasia, Jane, Bleb. Hey, 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 Albertina, Edward. Doris, Maud, Alpha, Prosper. Oh, somewhere so, somewhere so, somewhere so. Kaya Shata Daba. We are here to magnify the Lord first and foremost. Consider yourself blessed. Yo, we here. See you before. All right, to God be the glory. Okay, Isaac James, you're also here. Rosemary is here. Obaya, Kobe, Clement. Good time for us to lift up our voice. Psalm 68. Thank you, Father. And the verse 19 is very clear. And that is for me and you. It said, Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Push it. Wash it. Even the God of our salvation. I like to look at waking up every day as the greatest salvation that one can find. Beyond being born again waking up like sleeping and waking up i like to look at it as the greatest salvation one can never find aside being born again you may not have looked at it from that angle but today see go and check psalm 3 and the verse 5 it says, I laid me down and I slept. I awake for the Lord sustained me. Think about it. I laid me down and I slept. I awake for the Lord sustained me. Somebody bring it to God for me. And somebody bring it to it, uh, Chi for me. And somebody to Ever. I like to read everything before we, stay, we, before we thank the Lord together. Bring it into Ga and into Chi. Oh, I can. And then into Eve. I laid me down. I slept and I awake for the Lord sustained me. For the Lord sustained me. Recognizing who your who your sustainer is. Sylvia, welcome. Sylvia, welcome. God bless you. Akosha, welcome. I say, say the thing, say this quotation. I laid me down, I slept. Okay, in Kashi Niwo. I'm trying to find my own paraphrasing. He is the, he's the one who sustained me. The Lord sustained me throughout my sleep. Me die, and I'm sorry. If we say nyami and a crummy moon, a crummy moon, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, help me. Wherever you are. You want to lift up your right hand and say, Lord, I am forever grateful for sustaining me. I am forever grateful for sustaining me. 
not me alone myself and everybody whose life is connected to me come on lift your voice and say thank you to the lord lift your voice and bless the name of the lord lift your voice and thank god there are many lives who have been sustained who may not be here necessarily but you are here representing each and every one my god we honor you my god we adore you my god we magnify your name come on go ahead let the lord hear you appreciate him you are not alive by your power you are not alive by your own strength we are not here because we are perfect we're not here because we are the most righteous we are here because of the lord's grace and mercy if somebody is going to recognize this grace and recognize this mercy and recognize this mighty hand of the lord that has sustained you and me oh i see you enter into another realms because it is only the those who come back to the Lord with thanksgiving who are made whole it is only great God if it, only those people if it, who will come back to say Lord I appreciate you for that which you have done are those ones who get to be made whole I am reminded by what happened in the book of John when only one man came back after 10 people have been cured or healed of leprosy it is only one of them who came back and say lord thank you for that which you have done and jesus christ was asking a very important question where are the other nine <laughs> where are the other nine because they were ten that were cleansed some way somehow there are many people who are part of the nine but you are one coming before god and say thank you i see you be made whole today in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ just go ahead and let the Lord hear your voice saying Lord I thank you my God I came to bless your name for sustaining me where are the nine you are the one who came back you are the one who came back you are the one who came back my Lord and my God I am the one that came back Grandma Irene is the one that came back. Grandma Victoria is the one that came back. Boating Enos is the one that came back. Ruth Yaya ya is the one that came back. Ruth Yaba is the one that came back. My Lord and my God Samuel Otu is the one that came back, oh Father, to say thank you, Lord and my God, to say blessed be your name. Felix Amekuchi is the one that came back, oh Father. This morning we are gathered together before you to say thank you for that which you have done, to bless your name, oh Lord and my God, even to give you praise and to give you honor. Who are we that you are so mindful of us? This morning all praise returns to you. All adoration returns to you. All honor returns to you. If it had not been for you, O oh Lord, this morning, my Lord and my God, I, together with everyone whose life is connected with me this morning, whose life is connected with me, Lord and my God, we came to exalt your name. We came to magnify your name. It is not asked by you, O oh God. It is in you will live and move and have our being. Oh God, I thank you. Oh God, I bless your name for the life of Kujofrin Pong, for the life of Atuakwa, for the life of Solomon Otu, for the life of Victoria, for the life of Sylvia, for the life of Angelina, for the life of John Singer, for the life of Linda, bless Claribel, for the life of Prince Michael, for the life of Akosia, for the life of John Singer, for the life of Leslie Danso Buckman. I honor you again, oh God, for all those so Father, you have sustained today. Blessed be your name for everyone, God. This morning on this platform, we don't take it for granted, my God. We don't take it for granted, oh God. Oh, blessed be your name. You have loaded us, oh Lord, and my God, with benefits. We come on your son, Thank you for the benefit of healing. 
Naboshia Talabaria Sanda Basha. Thank you, Lord and my God, for the life of Lydia Suale Atipo. I am honoring you again, oh Father, even for the love of your children. Here, God, Jane, John, Nikaboria Sanda Masataya, Oh Kadia Bele Mashia Andalabaha, Nanaya Ekufuamua, Joyce Nancy, Becky Ayuko. I want to thank you for Tony Awove, Albert Jemfi, Marjorie. My God, I honor you again for the life of Diana, Johnson, James, Rita. Blessed be your name, O oh Father, because it is you, O oh God, who sustained us. Oh, thank you, Father. Listen, as I was coming, it was ringing in my heart very much that there is a healing, healing, healing of all kinds. Healings of all kinds. Watch it. By experience, by knowledge and experience, okay, we call it experiential knowledge. I know that doctors do well to actually manage conditions or sicknesses, they will tell you. Doctors, they manage conditions, sicknesses and diseases in the hope that you survive it. So when they, when you don't survive it, they say, well, we tried. But the one I know who doesn't try, but actually kills it, solves it. And like I said that by experiential knowledge, I have it, I know. Experiential knowledge, I have it is God. Check Proverbs. He says the word of the Lord is healing to all their flesh. Healing to all their flesh. Proverbs chapter uh, 4 and verse 22. It is healing to all their flesh. My son, attend to my word. I'm reading from the verse 22 to 22. My son, attend to my word. Incline thy ears unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes, but keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are, for they are life to those that find them and healing to all their flesh. By his stripes we are healed. <laughs> I am the Lord that healeth thee. Oh, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. Somebody join me because if you are here with any disease or sickness, I see the Lord touch you in a special way today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I hear somebody has ectopic. I hear somebody has there is a strain in your neck. There's a strain in your neck. So as we speak right now, like you have turned like this, You've turned like this. The Lord is touching you today. Listen, lift up your right hand with me. Say, my father, I believe that you are the healer of men. This morning, I submit myself before you and I plead for total healing from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. If you are fine, thank God for your life. There are people who thought that they were fine until they went to sleep and they didn't wake up. Wherever sickness has hidden itself in your system, as you pray this prayer, I see the Lord flash it out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You may know somebody who's also lying in the sick bed, unable to even open his mouth or open their mouth. This time you want to intercede for the person. We pray that the Lord God Almighty, by his grace, the healer of men, shall stretch forth his healing hand and touch and heal completely, even right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. As we pray right now, may the Lord God Almighty intervene. May his intervention bring us total healing, what we can call a miraculous healing, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take three minutes 
tonight and pray with me right now. Come on, go ahead. You are not here by accident. You are not here by accident. You are here by the design of Jehovah that you shall step in. You shall stand the guard for somebody even in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Malibra Basia Talabaha. Makoria Shandiri Malekara. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mikoria Badia Sidima Shotabaha. I know that you are capable, more than willing and able, oh Father, to do much more than we ask. Oh, even imagine this morning it's my prayer that somebody who is not well today, my God, shall receive their total healing. For you are the God that healeth us. You are the God that healeth us. Those, Lord, and my God, sick, living in their necks. Those sick, Lord, and my God, in their colons. Those suffering, oh Father, oh mother of diseases and sicknesses. Those suffering the cancers, living on the anus, suffering the cancers of the blood. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have always been there, God, for your children, where there is no way you have made a way. And so I plead, oh Father, today, by your mercies, by your mercies, by your mercies, by your mercies, we plead, oh God, by your mercies, we plead, oh God, by your mercies, that somebody, God, shall be healed. Let there be a spiritual operation right now. Let there be a spiritual operation right now that your daughter shall be free, that your son shall be free, that your daughter shall be free, that your son shall be free, I pray, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I call Nicobaria Sandabaha. You say, call unto me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Let this day, O oh Father, even represent that great day in the life of your children, O oh Father, especially those who doctors are confused about their situation. My God, I pray for your intervention today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That man who has been coughing endlessly, my God, I pray that today you shall bring it to an end in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In La Mosia Talabashanda, that woman, Lord and my God, who has miscarried, oh Father, even all this while I pray today in Jesus' mighty name. Na Mosia Talabashetariasa, Rami Kabari Allah, that today, Lord and my God, shall mark the end in the Moria Sandaba of this serial problem in Jesus' mighty name. I look to you, O God, in Namosia Talabaria Sandabaha. Let there be healings, O God, of all kinds. To the glory of your holy name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, let somebody shout a big amen. You can take a moment and check what the Lord has done. Truth is that our relationship with God. And yet, in China, I miss how you know what I'm saying. It's, it's a faith walk, <laughs> and you know, the, the, the human beings in us, because of our experience, are now in the habit of postponing what God intends to do, like now. <laughs> At any point, I say, call unto me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You didn't used to know, then I'll show it to you because you called. The Bible says, let all who come to me believe. All who come to the Lord believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So, so long as you are praying diligently, you are calling upon him diligently, you are seeking him diligently, you shall find him. Anybody coming here this morning to seek the Lord, may you find him in a way you have never experienced before. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I feel like praying for somebody who, who is um, shaky, feeling shaky in, in a job site. No, that there are there are some you know processes. It's an internal process going on in the in the office or in your workplace, and presently you feel that you are gonna be you feel that you are gonna be you know included and so on. So there is some paranoia and everything. I pray, may the Lord keep you in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
The truth is that you are not losing your job. I have just spoken. You are not losing. You are not one of those. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the Lord give you stability. Stability in your mind. Stability in your heart. And physical stability. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the time this is over, I prophesy to you. It shall be, it shall be glorious. You are rather going higher in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God be blessed. God be praised forever. Hallelujah. Frederica, I bless God for your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. You know, take one moment to appreciate the Lord. Take one moment to appreciate the Lord. The truth. Take one moment. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Delvin, Linda, let's bless the name of the Lord. He's the sustainer of men. The reason you are thanking God is because of today's benefits. Today's benefits. I'm sure if I hand over gold bar to you right now, you won't stop thanking me. You give it right now. Tomorrow morning, you come and give another one. The next time, you come and give me another one. You keep thanking me, sir. Gold bar. You have no idea what the Lord has pushed towards you today. Your thanksgiving shall spit it up towards you. I say your thanksgiving shall spit it up towards you. Take three minutes. Say, Lord, I thank you for today's load of benefits. Is it a good prayer? Say, Lord, I thank you for today's load of benefits. It's a load with finances, good finances. It's a load with new connections. It's a load. With, it's a load with new healings. It's a load with new abilities. It's a load with a fresh idea that will catapult you from where you are to a higher level. It's a load, Makabaria Satire. Come on, somebody, let the Lord hear your voice. Say, Lord, I thank you for today's load of benefits. <laughs> Why would you call it benefits? Because it benefits you. I thank you for today's load of benefits. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I bless your name, O oh Father, for today's load of benefits. I bless you, my God, for today's load of benefits. I bless your name, my King, for today's load of benefits. Thank you, Father, for today's load of benefits in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, say, oh, my, oh, say, Amen. Amen. In Shira, me and you, boy. And he and Zania sit down. And he and he to me. And he and what he and 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 he who is that like in my voice i hear you because of you i'll sing okay one of these is i'm entering the studios <laughs> Uh, 
Are you sure? Oh, me I want it. Hey, oh, yeah, go for the Diada. God be praised forever and ever. Thank you, Father, for today's load of benefits for your children, for Didi, for Edwin, for Alpha, for Eunice. For Sergeant Enosh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. All right, people. It's three minutes after five on Joy 99.7 FM. And this is Joy Time and His Presence. Bless God for your life today, for being a part of our program today. Watch this. The Lord has a message. And that message cannot be for anybody else but you. When we come to the Lord, we listen, we hear what He has for us, and it's always for our own good. Let's pray. Eternal Father, we give you praise again this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you again, because our lives are nothing without you. It has been you all this while leading us in the path of righteousness. For your name's sake, it has been you all this while, the blessed of men, lifting us from grace to grace, from glory to glory. And this morning as well, we've been privileged to be sustained by you. We ask, O oh Father, even as we settle down for your word, speak through this vessel of clay. Use me, O oh God, to perfect your will. In the end of the day, may your name be glorified. May your will be done and may your children be blessed. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Let the saints of God shout a big amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for uh, being here. I've, I've titled my message, Why Not Trust God Again? Why Not Trust God Again? Praise the Lord. Why Not Trust God Again? Hallelujah. Truth is, many have trusted God before and can testify of the amazing results it brought to them, right? We can actually testify of the amazing results that trusting God brought to us. But often we fail to be consistent with our trust in the Lord. You know, and, and this happens because we are humans, you know, human beings have the natural proclivities to, 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 to only um, be affected by what we see and what we're going through and all that. Usually, um, you, you would want to remember, you know, what the Lord has done uh, and walk in, in that trust and walk in that understanding all the time. But it doesn't work that way. We are humans. And so because we are humans, we are, we are likely to, you know, trust only when we see things. When we, you know, <laughs> the, the guys have, have a saying, I don't get a image you won't. You know, those of you who are guys, you would understand what I'm, I'm to, I can't, I don't know how to, okay, to wit, you know, the monkey says, <laughs> you know, it is only when he sees it that he can believe it. You know, it's only when he sees that he can believe it. Can I just say this? As even believers, human beings, you know, and believers, we, we tend to have more trust, you know, in our chairs, you know, in our sofas, in our beds, the beds, you know, we sleep on and the chairs we sit on, you know, we tend to have more, more trust in those things. 
than than we have in God. Okay, I mean that's that's the truth. This morning, somebody is sitting on her sofa listening to me. Before you sat on the sofa, did you ask the sofa whether it is ready to hold you and that you won't fall down? You know, before did you did you actually ask? No, I came to sit in this chair today, and when I came, I didn't have two minds whether the chair is okay to hold me. I just sat on it, you know, and I just sat on it. And 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 you too, you did the same thing when you you were going to sleep yesterday, you know, lying on the bed. That bed is yours. It's been there all this while. So somehow, but you know that somebody lies on their bed, and the bed falls down. You are aware that somebody is going to sit, you know, in a chair somewhere. I, I was at the at the program, and uh, you know, somebody was coming to sit down, and then they said, "Oh, he's quite a bulky person, so let's add one more, you know, of the chair." It was this, you know, plastic chair. Let's add one more of the chair so that it doesn't break. The person still sat on the two or doubled one, and it still broke. And this person, you know, fell, fell down. But as soon as they added one, she felt confident that, oh, she has, she has trust. No, no, this thing is not going to break. And she sits down and then it breaks. You know, so we also have experiences of, of, of the things we had trust in failing. But somehow, because we are human beings, we are always, you know, tilted towards the things we see. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. But this morning, I came to ask a very simple question. Why not trust God again? Hallelujah. Why not trust God again? I said our natural inclination is to trust who or what we see, you know, and believe in. Who or what we see and believe in. Oh, this person say, I'm going to do A, B, and C for you. Oh, I trust him. He's done it before. He can do it again. <laughs> but that same person had failed many people and he can fail you too. Mm. But the Lord I serve does not fail anyone. Praise the Lord. Today I pray for you. May you go beyond what you see and who you see alone. I pray for somebody. May you go beyond who you see and what you see alone. Watch this. God was very clear when he told us by the prophet Jeremiah in the, in the chapter 17 in the verse 5th verse. He says that Curse be the man that trusts in his fellow man. Curse be the man. It means that if you're going to have to trust in what man can tell you and what man does for you, then you have actually invited something upon yourself that you don't want. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, may we never be caved in by any circumstances that makes us lose our trust in the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may we never be caved in by any circumstances that makes us lose our trust in the Lord. May our trust in the Lord be resolute and tangible in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Bible says that whatsoever the Lord doeth shall be permanent. Human beings' help is transient. <laughs> you know, a, a human being, a human being says, "I'm going to do this for you," and and you know, when he manages to do it, my God, forever you are owing the person. <laughs> I pray, may the Lord help you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I prophesy that today, the power and the presence of God shall be permanent in somebody's life in Jesus mighty name remembering what the Lord has done or holding what God did for you in the past is actually your trump card to receiving the next miracle hey I said holding on to what God did in the past is your trump card to receiving the next miracle hallelujah <laughs> Okay. I want to say very quickly this morning that you are in a different, higher class and never allow circumstances of the world to dictate your life here on the earth. Trust God again. <laughs> I said, trust God again. The same God that saved the business some time ago, trust Him again. He shall take it to the next level. There are many that, believe, that began with you 
All right? There are many that began with you. As we speak right now, they are nowhere to be found. You are still here. <laughs> the Lord that sustained you is the same God that is going to push you forward in the name of the Lord. That sickness you suffered, that sickness had killed thousands, if not millions. <laughs> and you know, that same situation, it has, it has taken many away, but you are still here. The same God that strengthened you, the same God that empowered you, the same God that sustained you is making sure that you would live or you would come out of it completely. Praise the Lord. I remember, you know, I remember when we were growing up in our neighborhood, you know, we, we, we heard that, you know, anybody who, you know, has, has sickle cell SS, you know, will not live up to 20, 20, 25 years. You know, if you are a male, you're not live. Well, I don't know where that thing came from, but it was so strong and it became stronger because in our neighborhood, three people passed on at the age 25 and all of them it, we, we we knew or it, it was it was public knowledge that they were all you know kind of sick as hell you know and so i began we began to be afraid personally i began to be very afraid and there was another person you know um who was you know, who was known as a sickle cell and he was getting to his 25th birthday and the whole neighborhood Hey, is he also going to die? Is he also going to die? Is he also going to die? You see what I'm talking about? But later on, I, I, had, I had an interview I had an interview with somebody who was 75 years old, and she too was sick. Of her. I'm like, how did it happen? It means that God is capable of turning what has been established. <laughs> he is capable of turning it all around. That's why I cannot but trust the Lord. You too, you cannot but trust the Lord. Hallelujah. Trust. I say you cannot but trust the Lord. Amen. Come on. Um, I want to say three things very quickly about trust so that we can situate it properly. Trust is an act. Trust is an act. I know that charismatics, you know, we are we are good with words. You know, charismatics, they are good with words. Oh, we are believing God. Oh, we are trusting the Lord. Meanwhile, then in the BBC, you know, <laughs> you know, they have they have like they have like plan C, plan A, B, C up to Z. And then when you speak to him, oh, we are believing God, or oh, we are trusting, we are trusting the Lord. I I I came to tell you this morning, trust is an act. Trust is an act. Listen, gentlemen, trust is something you do and not just say. Mm. It's an action. Trust is an action. Praise the Lord. Uh, it must be felt by both, you know, you and others. You know, especially it must be felt by you. It must be felt by God. It must be felt by others. It's, it's an action. Praise the Lord. Let's go and read a couple of scriptures very quickly. Uh, First Chronicles chapter Five in the verse 20. First Chronicles, First Chronicles, chapter 5 in the verse 20. Lord, help me. First Chronicles, chapter 5 and the verse 20. Okay, it says, and, and they were helped against them, and the Hegites. And the Hegites were delivered into their hands, and all and all that were with them, for they cried to God in the battle, and he was entreated of them because they put their trust in him. Now, I'd like for you to think about it this way. You have prepared to get to a battlefield now you go to the battlefield knowing very well that we are fighting over there a whole year two you know two ke gain ke spears ke, you know yeah and and fisticuffs we are fighting over there praise god we are fighting over there and so you are very much aware of where you are standing and and what is happening over there but the bible says that the people 
when whilst on the battlefield they actually went down on their knees they stopped the fight they went down on their knees and they cried to the lord to come help them in the battlefront they presented themselves in the battlefront and then they called on the lord god almighty let victory be ours and the bible said that the lord was entreated of them the bible said because they trusted him <laughs> because they trusted in god but thank God, some trust in chariots, others in horses, but we will we will trust in the name of the Lord. The, I say that it is not it is not just it is not just saying it because you can you can actually say it without believing in it. You can actually say it without acting it. And if your trust is not actionable, then forget it. It is not trust. Hallelujah. If your trust is not actionable, forget it. It is not trust. It is not trust at all. It is, well, wanting to trust or maybe um, attempt to, <laughs> attempting to trust. And th that's why I, I, I like the, uh, you know, the legal stuff. They will say attempting to kill and, and kill, attempting to murder and murder. So there is an attempt. You know, and, and there's a real thing. So there are always two counts or something of that nature. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. But trust me, trust is an action. You would have to place yourself where, where the trust becomes tangible, where the trust becomes, you know, uh, you can feel it. They were at the battlefront and they trusted the Lord for their victory. I don't know where you are right now. But why not trust God again? I don't know this condition in which you are right now. You know, there are, there are some places when we get to the place, then our trust in the Lord dwindles and our trust in the system and in, the, in others actually, you know, comes to play. Praise the Lord. And so this morning, let me, let me, let me get to another one. Job chapter 13. Job chapter 13 and the verse 15. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I say your trust has to be actionable. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The trust you say you have, you, tr you trust God. Job 13 in the verse 15. Lord, help me. Say, say wherefore do I take, the verse 14 say, wherefore do I take my flesh in my teeth and put my life in my hands? Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. But I will maintain my own ways before the Lord. <laughs> Though he slay me. This is Job speaking. Though he slay me. You and I are aware about Job's situation. And I pray to God. I pray to God that nobody ever goes through the thing that Job went through. But I believe we also have our own, you know, job-like conditions and situations. And when that time comes, is our trust in the Lord actionable? Job is saying something. He says, though he slay me, Job did not pay attention to the devil at all in, her con in his condition. You know, somebody will say, well, the devil, and we know the devil was behind, you know, everything that Job was going through, but he he, he, he attributed it to God. And he said, even though God is slaying me, I yet I will trust him. And how would I trust him? I will maintain my ways before him. Re watch this. The Bible says that God himself said Job was an upright man, a righteous man, one who gives arm. There is none like him on the earth. And Job says, I will maintain my ways before him because I trust him. He, even though he's slaying me, he's the one. I don't know. I don't, I don't see the devil here. God is the one. If God has not allowed it, it will not have happened. So God is the one. I, 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 I feel like blaming God, but I'm not going to blame him. I still trust him. Hallelujah. Uh, many of us, and I pray for somebody to dare the sound of my voice. If you have come to accuse God, I once upon a time accused God. I accused him for so many things. And then he opened my eyes to see the things he has taken me away from. And I repented there and there. And that day I sobbed like a baby. 
may you never ever blame or accuse God for your condition you find yourself in because he knows the way he takes and all we have to do is trust and follow him. Hallelujah. Psalm 34 and verse 8 very quickly. I'm, I'm just trying to establish the fact that trust is an act. Trust is an action. Hallelujah. Trust is an action. Don't just say, I trust the Lord. Oh, we are believing God and we trust the Lord. And there is no action. Psalm 34 and the verse 8, he says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trust in him. Now, if I put a punching kakra right now, oh Lord, if I <laughs> if I put a punching kakra and fufu, those of you who love fufu, I'm not a fufu person, but let me just mention for the, so if I put a punching kakra and fufu right now uh, in front of you and, and, and I say that, well, oh, this is a marvelous food. It is so, I, I'm, I'm, I, it's, it's so, it's so awesome, you know, you can only hear what I'm saying, and maybe you can also um, smell the, the the wonderful aroma, you know, of the uh, of the food. But you haven't tasted it, you can't tell. <laughs> Praise the Lord! You haven't tasted it, you can't tell. The Bible says that God is good. God is good, but somebody has to taste Him. Somebody has to deliberately go out of his comfort zone and taste the goodness of the Lord. So it is not just, oh, we are trusting the Lord and you are sitting at that same place with your hands and your dim rhythm and hoping that the goodness of the Lord shall be seen. Your trust in the Lord has to be actionable. Hallelujah. Your tr I'm telling you something. <laughs> I'm telling you something. We, you, you too must be must be in the position where you can shout, God is good. I know the reason why many of us are not able, you know, to shout all the time when we are in church and the, the preacher shouts, God is good all the time. Sometimes we just do, we just do it for, you know, yeah, for response sake because we now we are not too sure. <laughs> I pray, may the Lord help you. May the Lord give you a reason. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 also say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean on your own understanding. Uh, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your partner. Notice, he said with all your heart, not with some of your heart. If you're, not do if you're doing something and it's with all your heart, then you know that you are really in the thing. All right? You are really in the thing. Say, so our trust in the Lord cannot be with some of our hearts, cannot be with, with a little part of us, a little part somewhere else. You know, can I, can I share a story with you? It's very interesting. <laughs> you know, the, when, when, when we were, you know, coming up in the church, you know, young guys and all, there was this, there was this guy, you know, all of us were, were, you know, oh Lord, okay. All of us were going through difficult times, but I'm sure that his difficulty was much more, you know, than 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 many of us. And so, you know, and he came from quite, you know, a far place. We were quite close to the church, you know. And then we didn't know, but you know, any time he's coming, he had this, you know trust in some one of the pastors that the pastor would sort him out when he's going we didn't know you know but i think it was happening you know quite regularly you know and on this occasion you know he came to church and that day when he came you know uh we saw that he was very very you know slow it was bomb naturally this guy was very bubbly and everything but we saw that he was <laughs> and then when we're Whilst the church was going on occasion, then he will come out. He will come and look outside. Come and look outside. <laughs> you know. Then we realized that it's because that particular or someone didn't come to church. You know, ask, ah, why today you are being very, very down, sir? Why? Pastor, I don't want to mention the name. Pastor so and so didn't come today. Eh? And we said, Oh, yes, maybe, maybe he is busy with work or something of that nature. He said, Oh, it's my last that I use for transport to now. I'm going to walk. <laughs> See, he was coming to church and he has his mind and his heart and everything on a human being who today is and tomorrow he's no longer. 
hear me i know that 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 guy is not the only person in that condition there are many of us whose trust is in man and so every time we are running after men even as i sit here i preach the word of god but i'm still a man i'm still a human being just like you god is the ultimate and if you are trusting the lord he would never ever fail you can i tell you something so long as your trust in the lord is actionable the lord shall bring an answer to your action i see the lord shall bring an answer to your action in the name of the lord jesus christ trust is also a language it's very important trust is also a language and i'm reminded by what happened in the book of daniel chapter 3 uh, chapter 3 in the verse 16 to 18 where shadrach Meshach, and abednego answered and said "O king in the book at nasa we are not careful to answer thee in this matter um if it be so our god whom we serve is able to deliver us you know is able to deliver us from from the burning fiery furnace he will deliver us out of thy hand o king but if not be it known unto thee o king we will not serve thy gods nor worship the graven image which thou hast set up praise the lord that is total trust in the Lord. So we know our God is capable. Hallelujah. Trust is language. You cannot, you know, I have, I have come ar around many people. Once upon a time when I sat on this radio and somebody calls in and say, Pastor, I have a problem. I stop you right there in your tracks. I said, well, if you have a problem, it means that is your property and no one can take it away from you. You trust you have a problem and you are going to keep that problem forever until you, be you begin to believe that that condition is never ever permanent. It is going to go by the intervention of God. It no matter what it is. Praise the Lord. See, so the Bible said that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew the danger that was awaiting them. They knew the danger. This is a very wicked king who can do anything. He's keeping gallows. He's keeping uh, lions then. He's keeping uh, uh, hyenas then. He's keeping, you know, fiery furnace. He's keeping all manner of things. He's keeping guillotines, you know, chopping people's heads off and all. I mean, they, those days, they rule, it's a rule of terror. They rule by fear. You know, and so these guys were very much aware of what was, what was going to happen to them. But they, the Bible says that they trusted in their God who is capable of taking them out of the hands of this wicked king. And they said that, well, if our God wants to you know, save us, he will save us from your hands. Don't bother. <laughs> Hallelujah. I pray for somebody today that sound my voice that no circumstances, no situation shall cause you to be caved in such that you will lose sight of God and continue your trust in him. May you trust God again to the end. I say may you trust God again to the end and may you see his mighty hand at work in your life in Jesus' mighty name. We are not careful to answer you in this matter. Don't bother your head. Our God can save us from your hands if he wants to. <laughs> if he wants to. But even if he doesn't, we don't mind. We are still ready to go down. <laughs> go down with our trust in the Lord. May you also come to the point where you say, I'm ready to go down with my trust in the Lord. It does not matter. It does not matter. See, the, the, it, it, it may be scary. It may be scary. It may be very difficult to hold your lines. But I'm telling you, God has never failed anyone. And so long as he can see that trust in you, he will come through for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said, as soon as he can see the trust in you, he will come through for you in Jesus' mighty name. By your language, you shall make proud and pompous men small and humble hallelujah by your language of trust i say you shall make proud and pompous men small <laughs> hallelujah you know just like the three hebrew boys they were only boys so the bible says that they made nebuchadnezzar small nebuchadnezzar felt so big he felt that nobody could take anybody away from his hands it says when he holds you you that's your end when he says that the, your life has come to an end your life indeed has come to an end but by god's grace by the by the language of trusts 
in the Lord. God came through, and Nebuchadnezzar, for the first time, he saw Jesus. You know, he was the only, he was the, he was the, um, first canal man that saw Jesus. The Bible says, did I not throw three men into the fire? I see, I see a fourth man. I see a fourth man like, like the son of God. May your trust language cause people who don't believe in God to see the Christ in you, to see the Christ around you, to see the Christ all around your life in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I pray that you shall make the fearful and doubtful bold and courageous in the Lord again because of your trust. May the Lord bless you. I wanted to add very quickly, but my time is up. Trust is also an attitude. <laughs> you know, so I've just mentioned three. Trust is an action or an act. Trust is you know, a language and trust is an attitude. You can just check Psalm 18 in the verse 2. Just like faith without works is dead, trust without action doesn't exist. So it's an attitude. You need to put on an attitude of trust. Everybody who sees you know would be able to tell or will be able to tell that this person, he trusts in God. You know, don't, don't, don't give people double-mindedness. Don't give people, you know, two-faces of yours and all that. If you're, 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 let your year be and your name be near. Let people know that this is who you are. This is what you believe in. This is what you fellowship. Praise the Lord. You, are, you have a relationship with God and that's it. You are trusting the Lord is unwavering and that's it. It's an attitude. Hallelujah. And so I pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, no matter what happens, may your trust in the Lord never be wavering. Instead, may it grow from grace to grace. May it grow from strength to strength. In Jesus' mighty name, can we end it here? May the Lord bless you so much. God bless you indeed. <laughs> uh, thank you, Father. Okay, uh, let me take a quick break. Can I? Whoa. Okay. Okay, no, we, 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 we won't. We won't. We won't. We won't. We won't. All right. We won't. We won't. I'm going to have to work the lines very quickly. 030 uh, Come to me with whatever it is that you, you are picking from today's message. Has the Lord spoken to you at all? Has the Lord spoken to you at all? 030-221-654-1055-1111997. That latter number is our WhatsApp platform as well, 055-1111997. You might want to um, send a message if you are finding it difficult to get through the lines. It's very, very crucial. Mm. Pastor Bose, Isaiah song by Maverick City summarizes the preaching. Oh, really? I hear you. Ozofo, do you know the song Maverick City? I am not too sure. If you can find it for me, I'll be very grateful. If that is what uh, summarizes. Um, Okay, this one says, Thank you, Osofo. The message speaks personally to me. As a law student in my final year, with the hopes of being called to the bar this year, uh, this hope was pierced violently yesterday. 
after the interpretation paper. Uh, but the message of trust in God will not let their hopes die. Praise God. I'm telling you, our trust in the Lord must be unwavering. And God would always show up. May the Lord show up. I say, may the Lord show up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your trust shall earn you a miracle in Jesus' mighty name. Ah. Hey, Galekai Boatin says, I. Oh, why am I missing that? We'll totally trust God and have a good fellowship with Him. God bless you. Well, I say, God bless you too. Pastor, please pray and bless my first child, Dokas. Enyaniwa Abwaji Asante of British International. Is it a bad day today or something? Dorcas Enyaniwa Abwaji Asante. D three four A. Okay, I hear you definitely. I'm gonna be standing. Today is a twelfth birthday. Wow. Definitely, I know you love her. In a moment, I'm going to be doing the prayer for all people celebrating their birthdays. Amen. God always is good all the time. Reverend Mike, Alan Fofua says what? Good morning, Pastor Frimpo. Pastor Frimpo, there is going to. He has to go and take a little rest. <laughs> Rosemary, the Lord bless you too. Uh, Amam Pofua says, I'm still trusting God. Amen and amen. Am I hear you? Yes. And may your trust in the Lord bring us more than we can carry. In Jesus' mighty name. Um, I'm with you this night. Trust in Jesus in all situation from uh, Mrs. Agnes Kumasiabi. Thank you, Prophet Ni. <laughs> um, all praise to the Lord. I was also saying, Reverend Bishop Mike. Ha 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 ha. Hey, titles, dear. Oh, Abukumapa. <laughs> <laughs> great job continue may the lord bless you well he said and a couple of birthdays coming hey okay i almost thought that uh, we're going up to six and i realized that today is actually a weekday <laughs> so um Happy birthday to you, Reverend um, O.K. Inkrahini and Mrs. Rosina Amwa, both of First Baptist Church, Tema. Today, the 11th of July, 2023, is your birthday. Um, happy, happy birthday to you from Abukuma Wendy Habi Ewusi. Let's add the Tina. <laughs> Good morning, darling. I trust you're doing great. Thank you, man of God, for the word. 
of our maker this morning bless you we will keep trusting or we'll keep our trust in the lord you say Kakra Danso is the one who put in that one. Definitely. I thank God for healing me this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Pastor Bosley, please pray for all BC students who may be writing their final exam next month. Yes, definitely. We're definitely standing with all of them right after before before the BEC by God's grace we are going to uh, do our marking our children for Christ and so all BEC students definitely should be making their way you know towards where we are going to be doing it um, we are standing together with all of them trusting that the Lord mighty will do amazing work in their life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, good morning, Bishop Mike. Whoa, what a word. God bless you mightily and increase you um, in all you do. Uh, thank God for your life as well. It's coming from... Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yes, indeed, indeed. Also, is getting me the song, so at least we can... I'm trying to get um, yes, 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 yes. Mr. and Mrs. Edu Jemfi. Okay, that's the Maverick City. Pastor A.B. saw it for me. Thank God. Thank God for your life. Pastor, please pray for Okay, Dokas, Anyaniwa Abwaji, Asante, I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then the Lord God Almighty place his mighty hand upon you, drive you away from danger, and set your feet upon the rock which will never be moved. May the excellent spirit of the Lord rest upon you. The spirit of excellence. The spirit of excellence. All the days of your life. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm still trusting God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Frederica is the one who said, I'm going to heaven with this woman. I'm telling you. May, he continue, may we continually trust the Lord. Did I miss that? Uh, trust the Lord even in our weakness. To his glory, Daniel, he says. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, happy blessed birthday to Miss Nila Sunkwa, a nurse at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, Ridge. Super awesome. Happy birthday to Billy uh, and belated to pa William Parkwesi Owusukondria, uh, the Church of Pentecost. And uh, finally, before I leave, we trust the Lord and uh, that she lives to fulfill the days of of uh, of the lord or that the lord had blessed her with okay i'm sure you are sending one but unfortunately my time is up i need to run forgive me today that today the water have been quite slow uh forgive us forgive us for not being able to mention everything you're sending to us um hopefully it'll be tackled later on god bless all of you for being a part of our program today my name is mike niambose i sat in for my brother pastor atu aqua i uh, will return again good willing tomorrow until then do have a blessed blessed day perhaps your realities is next
Welcome to today's Rhapsody reading, Tuesday 11th. Pastor says, Jesus, the first to be born again. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth. When I was a much younger Christian, Pastor says, as I went about preaching to people, asking them to receive Christ's salvation and be born again, some of them confronted me with the question, why should I be born again when even Jesus wasn't born again? From my limited understanding at the time, I answered that Jesus didn't have to be born again because he was the Son of God. But as I studied the Bible, I found out Jesus had to be born again and he was indeed born again. The question that this may immediately bring to your mind would be, when was he born again? According to our opening scripture, Jesus was born again the day he was raised from the dead. So why did Jesus have to be born again? The answer is simple. He needed to be born again because he was made sin for us on the cross. The Bible records that God made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Jesus took on our sin nature as our perfect substitute. He took our place and became us on the cross. When God looked at Jesus on that cross, he saw you. He saw me. He saw every man, woman, boy, and girl ever born, and that will ever be born into this world. Our sins were laid on him, and he died in that state. Our sin bearer and was buried for us. But thank God it didn't end there. When he had paid the full penalty for our sins, the Bible says he was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father for our justification. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Romans chapter 6 verse 4. He needed to be raised from the dead into a new life, the resurrection life, to prove that what he did for us was adequate for our justification. He is called the first begotten of the dead. That means the first to come out of spiritual death and be born again. He heads up the new creation. Glory to God. Prayer. Righteous Father, I thank you for the vicarious death and sacrifice of Jesus in my behalf by which I have been made righteous. Now, through his glorious resurrection, I live the divine life, reigning and ruling with him from the heavenly realms. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, read Colossians 1.18, Romans 8.29, and Acts 13.33. If you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, please repeat this after me. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Today's broadcast was brought to you by Christ Embassy. If you were blessed by this broadcast, please contact 0244 